Who, fellow Astrofluxers, Sen here. I'm not real sure um, what I want to call this series. I think I'm going to call it Ramblings. It's going to be short videos discussing certain things in the game that I've been seeing lately, and I just kind of want to address these issues. Uh, they're not necessarily bad issues. It's just uh, issues like resists and using debuffs and all that stuff. It's just talking about the game itself. So let's just get into it. Lately I've been seeing players not understanding what resists do. And it's becoming a growing problem within the game community and I think a lot of that has to do with the way that the developers are displaying resists within the arts. It also has to do with there's not a proper game manual other than the wiki. And the wiki is great, but you kind of have to know what you're looking for in the wiki to really understand this game. And this game has a lot of concepts that people just don't understand, and it takes a while to get it. And I want to start first with resists. And resists are basically the cornerstone to your defense. And in the early game, when you're in Hyperion and Capello, Durian and Arrhenius, even when you get past those systems into Crotillion, I would say all the way up until Verbrillion. You really don't need resist. Yes, they are helpful, but for the most part, you can just pile on a whole bunch of health and shield and survive and learn how to play the game without resist. And I think that's what I'm seeing with a lot of these players lately is that they they don't understand what resists are doing and they're just kind of winging the game. So what are resists? A resist is an art that blocks damage. And the cap of a resist art is 75%. And that's in player versus the environment. It's different in player versus player and in domination and in deathmatch. It's only 50% there. And that's why uh, it, it gets confusing when we're talking about resist in general. So this is my main account, the one I've been I've played now now for th a little over three years. When I go in and look at my resist, I only have all resists, and my highest one is 104.7%, and the cap is 75%. This art is just I don't even use it on this setup because I have better options, as you can see on the right here. I have better options, but this art is capped at 75%, and it, but it's showing 104.7. Now, why is it going over 75%? When you go anything past 75%, that's called uh, debuff uh, protection. So if any weapon that is used against you that lowers your resists, which there are weapons that do that, but there's only a handful of enemies in the game that do that. So let's talk about player versus player. If a player uses a weapon against me and it and it lowers my energy resist by 50%, that 104.7% is going to be lowered by 50%. So just scratch off um it'd be at uh, uh what 54.7% all resist. So now if he hits me with anything that's energy based, 54% is being blocked, not um, not the, the remainder up to 75. What I've been seeing out of players is either they pile on, let's go into here, let's see if, do I have just a blank one I could use? Yes I do. I've seen players play like this where they just pile on a whole bunch of resist and that's not doing anything. Yeah, it, it will help with debuffing a resist, but it's capped at 75%. Damage is still getting through after 75%, so 25% of the damage on, on any weapon is still getting through as long as it's not a, they're not debuffing you. I mean, it's it's... I've seen players play like this, and this is not exactly... <laughs> I'm not sure where they're getting this idea from. I mean, you're still going to die with this much resist on. Uh, here, I'll just... 
I'll just show. I mean, I'm, I'm going to go up. I mean, I, look at how much damage I'm taking. Now, death lines are pretty deadly, but look how fast my 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 stuff fell off there. Even if I were to remove down to 104, the death line still does the same amount of damage, and I just died. But you, you get my point. It's like the more resist you pile on doesn't mean you're going to not take damage. You have to understand that the resist is capped at 75%. The other thing I've been seeing is, and I don't want to pick on anybody in particular, it happened just the other day. I saw somebody get to Folzer and get past them, and they're in Vorstran, and they're, level, they're above level 100, and they're playing with level 125 arts, they're fully upgraded, and they wonder why they're dying. Well, they weren't using any resist. And I don't know where they lost that idea that you're not supposed to use resist at all. You, you know, in my mind, I always think resist are the, the actual cornerstone of defense. If you can get to 75%, you're blocking 75% of the damage coming in. And that's the whole idea of resist. And resists work with both shield and HP. It's not like uh, armor or shield regen. Sh like shield regen is completely different. Shield regen regenerates your shield. And our armor is all all with health. It has nothing to do with shield. So like you can apply those arts in different ways to have a better build. But with resist, like it's it's universal. You want resist in every single one of your builds unless you're doing pure paper. I'm gonna switch over to my low my smaller account, my playthrough account that many of you know. It's at level 75. And if I open up my my arts, I'm going to show you, you can have specific resists. Like this, I don't have a very good all resist. An Omni Dampener is an all resist. My highest is 53.1%. So if I were to apply this art to my, uh, my setup, I'm blocking 53.1% of the damage coming in on any damage type. But the majority of this game, the enemies are uh, energy-based weapons. It's it's the Nazirians all through the Gelen system or the Antor system, whatever you want to call. It. I, I you know I can never remember the actual systems, the the universes. And then when you get up into Rapier, that's like the they're still using energy. There's only like a handful of enemies in this game that are not using energy damage. So if you have a high, look, I'm level 75. I'm using a level 78 art at strength 70. It's got 82.4% energy resist. This art is going to block 75% of the energy damage coming in to all of the enemies in the game. Like, I don't have to worry about... Um, necessarily blocking uh, everything. My other setup, I, I'm only showing uh, kinetic and energy resist. I don't have corrosive resist, so I'm using this against enemies that are both using kinetic and energy damage. And this is something that you should look for when you're going through your arts is, is look for the specific res resist like energy kinetic and corrosive because if you were to go fight the cleaner yes he does shoot torpedoes at you you can you can use an energy resist but you also should apply a corrosive resist because of the lightning that hits you and that would stop a lot of the damage coming in and this is one of the and i hope i've explained everything in this video if i if you guys didn't understand something ask a question in the comments like what the hell did you just say dude but but I'm gonna leave uh, some links in the description below that are extremely important it's called damage calculations it's on the wiki it explains what resist do in very simplified terms and with math here let's just go ahead and pull it up so we're gonna look at damage calculation and this is how damage is calculated in the game. And this is extremely 
useful for anybody that's learning the game and they just don't understand what resistances are doing. And this talks it talks about resistance in general. And it talks about debuffed resistances. So if anybody's using a weapon against you that has uh, that lowers your resistance, uh, there's only a handful of enemies, like I said in the game earlier, that actually use anything against you. So we're talking about one, two, three, four, five, six, six things in the game that actually use uh, debuff resistance against you. It's not super important to have anything over 75%, unless you're dealing with these these enemies. It also talks about shields and armor on the same page. We'll get into that in another video. I just wanted to, to cover resistance in this video. So again, if this rambling didn't make any sense to you, ask questions down below in the comments. And I want to do something like this weekly. Hopefully I'll do this. I'm still working on other videos and I just wanted to address this right now because it's a growing problem seeing the game and I just will hope that people know that these resources are out here and let's learn the game so that you understand the the cornerstone of your defenses anyways that's it i hope you enjoyed this video talk to you later